Good morning! Today is day four of Vlogmas, and honestly, you guys, I'm gonna be 100% honest. I can't believe I've actually done it three days in a row. You know, typically when I say I'm gonna do something when it comes to YouTube, I tend to be not the most reliable person in the world. But I'm really proud of myself. I have to say I'm really proud of myself. Today has been a lazy morning so far. I mean, it's still early. It's 8, barely 8 o'clock in the morning. And the girls are already off to school, and I'm just kind of lounging, hence the robe. Really comfortable robe. I got it from Walmart. I think it was like $19. You guys will see it in a haul on my beauty channel. But it's so soft and cozy, and I like it's It's long. Like, it goes down to my ankles, and I really like that. So I was doing my typical morning routine when I wake up, um, laying in bed, checking all my social media my emails oh I'm looking cray and all that good stuff and so I was reading through comments from the beauty video I posted yesterday which is the products my high-end products I regret buying video and you guys are so awesome first off half of you agreed with me with the things that I was talking about and second you guys were like try to return it try to return it so I'm going to try to return something so I have a bag here full of some stuff that I am going to try and return which is pretty much just the hourglass foundation and the um, tart foundation and the gimme brow the other stuff is the stuff I need to take downstairs and then I bought this little set for my mom because she has really dry skin and then this I really liked but let me see if I can show you without making a mess so the pump broke off like I went to go push it and it just completely broke off and so now it won't pump any of the um, stuff which is really unfortunate because I used probably I don't know maybe half of it already but I'm gonna see if they'll return it uh, exchange it for me for a new one I don't know if they will because I bought it sometime in the beginning of the year but that would be great if it would so i busted out the big guns my second cameo with um our laptop or andres's laptop actually and i'm cutting an extra one while i have the printer and the other cameo running over there and i'm going to do this it's 10 30 right now so i'm going to do this until 12 and as much as i can get cut and done i'm working on a bunch of new releases that Hopefully should be up by Sunday. I wanted to have him up today, but Andres takes my pictures and he's off to work right now. So um, probably Sunday. So I will um, have a link down to my Instagram. It's at hkittydesigns and you can follow me on there and I always post like my coupon codes, my new releases and stuff like that. And then I always have them under, whenever I release something new for like the first couple of weeks, I always put them under the new releases section of my Etsy shop, which I always have the link down below as well. So as you can see, I still look lovely. I have on a tank top and my cozy robe still. <laughs> my hair is looking like a mess, but I think at 12, I'll stop, have lunch, maybe watch like a show, and then go upstairs, get ready. I do want to film um, all the, the Dollar Tree haul that I had from yesterday, and I also want to get uploaded my plan with me since it's already Friday. <laughs> Just get that done and over with, and then also my planner supply haul, and I want to film my declutter too. Plus, we're going to the mall. I'm picking up my mom at 4.30 to get our eyebrows done, so I'll have to leave here probably around... 4 15 go get emmy and then go get my mom and then go get maddie and then go to the mall so it's going to be kind of a time crunch but i definitely wanted to get my etsy stuff done first because it takes priority for sure true multitasking right here editing my plan with me uh i created some new designs cutting over here cutting over there i'm also doing laundry i have the laundry door shut so that i can't hear it um more new designs, things I need to cut, and I am running my printer as well, so. Oh, and the dishwasher's going. And that's gonna be my Dollar Tree haul that I will have on my beauty channel in about a week. True definition of multitasking right here. Let's take a vote on this. Who hates emptying the lint container? Now, who likes it? I cannot stand emptying it. I hate when I have to do it. I don't know, something about it grosses me out. I have to laugh because I just got a slew of text messages. I didn't even check my phone and <laughs> I got this one. Where are you? What are you doing? And you're doing vlogmas? Oh my gosh, that's funny. And the group text had like, we're doing coffee today and all kinds of stuff. That's so funny. Sorry girls, I'm stuck doing Etsy. I feel like such a mean mom, but I'm finally getting rid of 
the birthday balloons. I mean, they're really, like, they're still flying, but there's really no air in them. And I guess I could get them filled, but to be honest, it was so expensive to fill them. I just don't even know that it's worth it. So I am popping them, and hopefully they don't notice. All right, we're in business. I edited my plan with me. It is exporting right now. I will upload it as soon as it's done. I'm still cutting. I have my restock over there. I'm still using that machine. And I'm about to have this little teriyaki chicken frozen meal for lunch. Then I am going to go upstairs. I'm not naked. I have on a tank top. <laughs> um, I'm going to go upstairs and do something with myself. I want to straighten my hair. I probably won't put on any makeup. So I probably won't film before I leave for the mall. It's 1.30. I told myself I was going to stop at 12, and I didn't. But that's okay. I'm getting a lot accomplished. I actually have done three loads of laundry in the time that I've been down here as well. So that's awesome. And then back to the makeup. I probably won't put makeup on because I'm getting my eyebrows threaded. And um, whenever you get your eyebrows threaded, you have to hold down your lid and I don't like wearing makeup in it because I don't like getting it in my eye and I don't want to mess it up and all that good stuff so I probably will straighten my hair though so I look halfway decent um because tomorrow we have an early morning and I don't want to have to wake up and worry about doing anything with my hair for those of you that have ever wondered why your order has taken so long not necessarily from my shop but from just I don't know any Etsy shop in general <laughs> This has taken me about five and a half, almost six hours to cut this much, which may seem like a lot to you guys. It's probably a couple hundred sheets, maybe two or three hundred, um, which seems like, you know, people should be able to get their stickers out really quickly. But to be honest, between the misfits that end up coming out of it and the time that it takes, this is running two silhouettes, the time that it takes to run those two silhouettes, it is time consuming. So for those of you that ever get frustrated with a shop that you order from, just remember it takes a lot of time to cut the stickers. I got everything I needed printed, most of it cut, so I feel really accomplished. I got my hair straightened, which again was like the quickest straightening of life because again, I felt so rushed. So now I'm picking Emmy really quickly. I'm gonna go get my mom and then we are headed to the mall. Oh, and Maddie too. I gotta get her, can't forget about her. You know, I guess since I haven't been outside, I've been cooped up in the house all day doing stuff. I didn't realize how beautiful it was. It's literally, clear blue skies it's about 65 ish like you don't really need a jacket it's nice to just have long sleeves it feels amazing hi <laughs> today you have a good day mommy you did i know and i got a blue good job because i was also on green but it wasn't talking back to my teacher oh well that's good i'm glad but my teacher moved me to blue and i got a blue Smiley face. Awesome job. And look it. Proud. Look it, I got a prize. I know, I see. So she's in after school care. I got So they prizes. let her every Friday pick, if she's really good, pick some stuff. So for those of you that don't have kids at all or kids that are in elementary school yet or it's been many, many years since you've had kids in elementary school, they have colors. And her class specifically has six colors no seven because they start on green every day and then they can just move up from there so the step above green oh, wow. is blue purple pink and the steps below are is it orange it's orange yellow and red yeah orange yellow and red so green is like they had a average day anything above green is a good day and then of course pink is like the best day and then red is the worst <laughs> and so she's <laughs> she's only had a couple of days where I've had to check out that color. This is literally the only tree I think I've seen in San Antonio that actually changed fall colors. Maddie, did you tell Grandma thank you? Thank you, Grandma. You're you welcome. Know, hold that for Mommy. Come on, you hey, if you're gonna walk, you need to hold Mommy's hand, okay? Hi. <laughs> we just got to the mall. It literally took us, feels like 45 minutes to get here in the malls. Like, probably it probably did. Because the traffic was insane, which is, I really didn't think there would be that much traffic at this time. Like it was five o'clock rush hour, but on the wrong side of the highway. So anyway, we're here, we're gonna get a bite to eat, get our eyebrows done, and then I'm gonna try and return that stuff to Sephora. So I don't know if they're going to let me or not, but I'm gonna try. It's worth a shot, right?
This is one of my favorite things about the mall, the Christmas lights and everything in the middle of the mall. Oops, excuse me. So pretty! We're having fun and we went to the bathroom with my mom so Maddie decided to kindly walk herself over to the car. Little does she know I have no cash on me. Bumming a free ride because mommy forgot the quarters, huh? You did. <laughs> People are gonna probably stare at me galore, but that's okay, it's all for the vlog. So, um, just got my eyebrows freshly threaded. I love them, they're so pretty. I love the girl that I come to at the Aveda Salon in North Star Mall, her name's Sherry. She's amazing. In fact, I had Maddie today and she's like, oh my gosh, she's so big. I haven't seen her in like however many months that the last time I brought her. And Sherry's been doing my eyebrows since before I got pregnant. So it's been a long time. So I left my mom and the girls in like the play area so that they could burn off some steam and so they don't touch all the makeup in Sephora. <laughs> so wish me luck, I'm headed to Sephora to see if they will take my return. I love these. I think I talked about them in another vlog, but it's like in the middle of the mall, they come every single year, and they're awesome because you can get them personalized. And most of the time every year, they kind of change their style and everything. I really like this Christmas tree. I think I'm gonna get this one. So unfortunately, Sephora was a bust. They actually tried to return everything for me, but I guess whenever they submitted it, it said that my transaction declined. <laughs> I haven't been declined for something in a long time. But she said it was because I had returned before without a receipt, and whenever you do that, it like red flags you or whatever. So I'm gonna go home and look really hard for my receipts because she said if I have a receipt for everything, then I can return it, no problem. So I'm gonna look really hard. I did get one thing though. I ended up getting that Christmas tree ornament. Got all our names on it. it says Merry Christmas 2015. And in case you're wondering who Dulce and Bella are, there are her dogs. We get them on our ornaments every year. Mommy. What are y'all doing? Hi. Ready? These are the infamous boots right outside of North Star. I think I showed them in a vlog last year. They look a little different this year though. I don't recall them having red. Do you? I thought they always had just white stars. I don't remember. But honestly. they're huge cowboy boots that they light up every year. I just dropped off my mom. I'm just making sure she's getting in the house. So it's 8, 12 and it's already past the girls bedtime. And Emmy has a pretty long day tomorrow because we have a double header. Her first soccer game is at 8.30. The second one is at 9.30. Bye. I love you. And uh, so we're going to have an early day, just kind of like a school day because we'll have to be out of the house. She has to be there by 8. So we'll be out of the house by 7.30 plus. It's too cold and it's too hard to keep Maddie wrangled in at her soccer games and practice really. So um, I will be dropping off Maddie at my mom's house in the morning so that Andres and I can go to Emmy's game. And um, so we just are gonna have an all around early morning. So we're gonna get home, get them tucked in and in bed, and then I will do a short Q&A. Okay, so I am home now. The girls are tucked in bed and I have my laptop in front of me and I'm gonna go through and answer some of you guys' questions. Um, so the first thing I wanted to address, we, well, we didn't. My best friend Bia got, she called yesterday, I think when I was at Dollar Tree, and she's, she said that she was at um, a different Target and that she was picking up Elf on the Shelf or something. And I was like, oh my gosh, if you find an Elf on the Shelf at your Target, would you mind picking me up one? And she's like, oh no, I think we're going to see each other tomorrow. So she FaceTimed me and said that the Target that she went to had it and that she was going to pick it up for me. So um, now I know if I ever need another one because you guys found Elf on the Shelf at Barnes & Noble. Hobby Lobby, Kohl's, Bed Bath & Beyond, all kinds of 
places, even at Costco. So if I ever needed one, I would know where to find one. I just was kind of desperate and wanted one like sooner rather than later because as I said, I don't know when you're supposed to start Elf on the Shelf. So, you know, the girls may get a few days shy of it, but it'll be fine. Okay, so now for the questions. Low underscore 23, thank you so much for telling me that the clothes were on sale for 30% off because I did find the three pieces that I picked up online. And better believe I either will go get a price adjustment or return those babies and order them online because 30% off is significant. I could have bought a whole nother two shirts for the, the savings that I would have had. So thank you. I had two people ask about my nursing career and nursing school in general. Um, some tips and stuff for nursing school and then how I actually got my job. I actually have an entire video dedicated to nursing school and I filmed it a several years ago because it's been a long time since I've been in nursing school so I will link it down below if that is not helpful for both of you girls um, maybe private message me and I can give you some of my experience and stuff like that as far as getting my job I honestly just got lucky I applied for it I didn't know if I was going to get it I tried to make the best impression that I could and I must have interviewed well enough to be eligible for the job so um, that's I didn't really do anything special other than go to a job fair and that was about it. But if you, um, like I said, I'll have that video linked down below if you're curious and you want to watch my experience with nursing school. And um, if you have any additional me uh, questions, don't forget to message me. Hi, Char. You're asking if I'm planning to sell printables in your shop. I am. I honestly have to figure out how to make my documents into printables because I think it would be something good to sell because especially things that you use over and over and over you would like to have in a, print in a printable so that you have it forever um, but unfortunately I'm not very tech savvy and I have no idea how to make it into a printable on the shop so I'm trying like I'm in the process of doing some research so that I can make it so stay tuned and you guys are so sweet like everyone loves my grandma isn't she amazing I just I love her too she's so much fun to be with and also you guys thought Emmy the clip with Emmy and Maddie at the McDonald's playground was so cute that was like so sweet Emmy's an amazing big sister to Maddie she does have her moments when she gets you know a little jealous or she's wanting to do something Maddie's doing and stuff like that but it always is the opposite too Emmy uh, Maddie always wants to do what Emmy's doing they can't share to save their lives but they're such good sisters to each other and Emmy is just amazing like in hindsight whether you know they get into fights or not or Emmy doesn't want to share with her or Emmy maybe have a little touch of jealousy here and there she's just so sweet to her and loves her to the core and you can tell it's very evident Karen asks, Karen Lavonsar? I'm sorry, I probably mispronounced that, but you want to know what the girls want for Christmas. Maddie has absolutely zero idea. She's really just getting into the fact that, or understanding the fact that, like, Christmas lights and Santa and stuff like that shit, like, she really does not know that you get presents for Christmas. Emmy, on the other hand, wholeheartedly knows you get presents, and she actually asked on the way home, she said that she was going to tell Santa she wants a bike, roller skates and um an aerial princess doll which is convenient she actually may have seen the aerial princess doll we have in that closet over there because that's very specific items and my mom got her a bike santa santa got her a bike and my aunt got her roller skates another santa so um and we got her an aerial doll so she's getting everything she wants but i already i told her she's getting a lump of coal she doesn't start acting better <laughs> apologize in advance Shaquaya, that's a very unique name. I really like it, but I'm pretty sure I just butchered it. Mick Williams. She asks, would I ever consider relaxing Emmy's hair or a semi-relaxer? To be honest, I don't know much about that. I have curly hair, but I've never put that type of product in my hair or anything like that, and I don't have any experience, nor do I have any friends that have experience in relaxing mixed little girl's hair, so I really don't know... Maybe when she's older I would consider it, but I kind of want to keep her hair as natural as can be with just, you know, basic trims and stuff like that until she's old enough to take care of it herself. And I think that's just because a lot of girls in general just, you know, no matter what kind of hair you have, don't appreciate their hair till they get older. Like I know I hated my hair for years and years and years and wished 
I could have straight hair that I didn't have to worry about. But now that I'm older, I appreciate curly hair. So I don't want to do much to her hair until she can put in a legitimate opinion and not just like, I hate my hair because she tells me that now. She wants short hair. She hates her hair and all this stuff. But it's because it's, it's hurtful to her. So I want her to get to an age where she can tell me, you know, I want to do this to my hair and she's a big enough girl that I can trust she's doing the right thing for it. But I would consider it, but probably not till she's older. And this is actually a good question. Have you thought about gastric bypass? I actually have. Um, that's something that you're right. I don't think that it's for everyone. Um, I don't know that I honestly would have the courage to do it. The only major surgery I've really ever gone through was my c-section and that was like i didn't have a choice gastric bypass i feel is something that you do have a choice and so as much as i would love it i think it would be very beneficial to me i know my eating habits and i don't know that in the long run that would correct how my mind thinks as far as food and I say that because I can put myself on a diet or on a cleanse and when the when it's over I can binge. And I just I don't I know the gastric bypass doesn't allow you to binge. Up until a certain point, I have known a few people that have stretched their stomach back out and made themselves sick from it and it's just not healthy. So I don't know I don't know. If I ever did decide to get it, it would be after I have like I'm done having children because it's not that safe to do before you have a baby, especially so soon before you have a baby. So if it, it would be years down the line if I did decide to do it. But that's a very good question. I like this question too from Phoebe Gilmore. Does Emmy know that she is adopted? If not, what do you think is the appropriate age to tell her? She does not know she's adopted. She actually, funny story, when she was in pre-K, there was a kid in her class that had an adopted baby sister and he talked about it in class. Like they had a little shared discussion circle or something. And he talks, talked about how happy his family was. He had an adopted baby sister. Well, I guess they were so, the teacher was explaining to them what adoption is and stuff like that which I don't necessarily think is something four and five-year-olds should be discussing, but whatever. So Emmy tells the teacher that she thinks her baby sister is adopted because she looks different. So as cute and funny as that is, Emmy does realize that Maddie doesn't look like her, like they don't look like each other. I don't know that she's put two and two together that Maddie looks like Andres and I and Emmy has a different skin color like I don't think she realizes that she's a quarter black she doesn't realize that she has a different texture hair and different skin color than we do like I said she actually thought Maddie was the one that's adopted so I don't know at what age they start to learn that we're different races and stuff like that like I don't I don't know what would be appropriate age to really just come out and tell her to where she'd have a full understanding of it we definitely never planned on lying to her if she ever asked us questions about it we were going to be honest and explain to her um she does and has mentioned before especially when i had maddie you know if she can't was cut out of my because i had a c-section with maddie if she was cut out of my belly too and i've never lied to her i've never said yeah you were in uh, mommy's belly too I've never told her that. I usually will say, like the one time she asked me, I told her that she wasn't cut from my belly, she was brought special to us. And she was like, oh, okay, and just kind of left it at that. But had she continued on, you know, well, what do you mean I was brought special and all this stuff, I would have explained to her as I felt a five-year-old could understand at the time. Now that she's six and every year she becomes more and more mature, I kind of go with the flow if she asks a question i'm not going to lie to her but i'm not going to give her the whole story until i think she is able to handle it handle it and truly understand so i think it just depends on how early she matures as far as what the appropriate age would be okay last comment i just want to make a comment maria gutierrez girl why didn't you say hi to me at target you should have just came up to me even if you didn't know what my channel was or what my real name was or anything like that i think that would have been hilarious i'm going to go back and look through the video and because it says she said that her and her little sister were at Target 
in the Christmas area when I was looking for Elf on the Shelf, or maybe I was just looking at the lights or something, and they weren't sure what I was doing or what my vlog channel name was or anything. They wanted to come up to me but didn't. And then her sister found my channel yesterday. Oh my gosh, that's so funny. Yes, please, if you ever see me, if anyone ever sees me out in public, I don't care if I look busted as all get up. Please come say hi. Be prepared to give me a hug. Um, be prepared to maybe take a picture or be in the vlog. Like, I just, I love that. I think it's so fun running into you guys. But that's hilarious. You guys, I'm going to go look at the video to see where in Target, like, maybe y'all were looking at me in the background. I never even realized it. Okay, so that is the end of the vlog. Not too many questions, but if you have any questions, any other questions that I haven't answered or you want me to elaborate more on, don't forget you can always leave them in the comments down below so that I can answer them in at the end of tomorrow's Vlogmas. I can see that you guys are loving these and actually I'm having a lot of fun. And so far I've been around everyone in my family and no one's had a problem with the vlog. So except my Hanabini over there. We still have 20 days. Maybe he'll come around a little. But anyway, I hope that you guys continue to enjoy. Don't forget, I just uploaded my plan with me, and I'm going to work on a planner haul, and those will be up on the channel earlier, right before this video and right after. Okay, guys, I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.